Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good to have you with us today, this morning, <clears throat> this afternoon, or this evening. I'm walking around here um, on a beautiful, uh, it's actually Sunday morning. Today is Palm Sunday, and uh, I know that when you're watching this, it won't be Palm Sunday. It might even be the day before Easter, but just listening to one of these devotions that I always listen to and they're pointing out the fact that it was Holy Week and I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, this phrase, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And the situation on Palm Sunday, laying the branches down, preparing the way for the Father, for Jesus, was quite a scene, and uh, I played a show yesterday in St. Augustine, Florida, and beautiful afternoon of worship. It was actually kind of strange. We, it was supposed to be outdoors. We ended up moving inside because outside was, there was a threat of rain, and so we, uh, we moved it inside. So three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, just an odd, oddball time to start up, but it actually turned out to be a beautiful afternoon of worship. And I'm, I'm finishing the show, set, packing up, loading out, and uh, these two ladies stop me and they say, one of them says, uh, you know, can I share a story with you? And I said, yeah, sure, sure, of course. And she said, I, um, <clears throat> I have this miracle that I want to share with you. She said, I had a brain tumor a bunch of years ago, and uh, God healed me completely from it. And I was like, wow, it's incredible. She said, yeah. She said, it, it was truly uh, a miraculous healing. And she said, I knew that God was going to heal me because... We have people praying for me, of course, but I'm just trying to remember this right. She said that she saw the um, form of the Lord standing beside the machines, and this hand came down on her head. And she said that's when she knew that it was going to be okay. And then this other woman told me this story about her son who had collapsed on the side of the road. No one was around. And <clears throat> this one woman whose schedule had changed that morning drove by, saw her. Somebody else came by whose schedule had changed that morning, saw the both of them. They started doing CPR, ultimately saved this kid's life. And they were just these miracles of God moving in and around their lives and in their in their own beings but also in their family members and so I was thinking about that this morning and thinking about um, <laughs> just what that looks like and then circling back around to Hosanna Hosanna in the high, highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord and just looking I gotta show you guys this view again. I know I've been kind of zeroing in on this, but I can't, I just can't get over it. <laughs> um, but it, it, here, it's just, yeah, right? I mean, unbelievable, absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, I'm thinking about this phrase this morning and it's more about the Hosanna in the highest and it's about the praise of the Father, right? And me as a worship leader, uh, as a writer of devotions, as a person who spends a lot of time with Jesus, um, at least intellectually, I think I need to find ways to spend more time with him on a personal level. Because uh, when it's your job to... Uh, kind of work in the word it's easy to 
get sidetracked and not spend so much personal time with the Father, if that makes sense. It makes sense to me, and that's mainly what I'm, what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, this idea, Hosanna in the highest, and how does that equate, and what does that look like in our own lives as we go about our days? Do we prepare the way for the Lord? in our own hearts, in our own minds, in our own lives, in our own journeys, in our own walks with the Father. And I think it's a valid question to ask when you, uh, when you look at your day, right? Um, the idea and the thought of involving God in everything uh, sometimes escapes us and doesn't quite um, doesn't quite factor into the equation as we go through our days, right? I talk about this a lot, like the big stuff we want to involve God in, the little stuff, man, not so much. But this example that we see in the Bible of this town basically laying down these palms and prepare, you know, laying out. Uh, jackets and clothing and blankets and all this stuff for for Jesus to, to to ride on on this little donkey that he was on but they were preparing the way and so in our own lives do we prepare our hearts do we prepare our mindsets do we prepare our thoughts for Jesus every day and honestly answer the honest answer and if I'm speaking honestly no I don't uh, that's not how I I wanna but I, I don't quite live my life that way and so maybe that's something that we need a little work on today right what does that look like for you how do you prepare the way for Jesus in every aspect of your life so let's just make this practical, right? How do you prepare the way uh, of the Lord for your job? Like when you wake up at 7 or 6.30 in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, preparing for the day uh, to go to work, um, what does that look like? Do you stop? Do you pray? Do you do devotions? Do you dedicate the day? I'm, I was talking to a pastor uh, a while back, and he had said... Um, one of the things I do when I wake up in the morning is I basically dedicate the day to the Father. And so I don't, do you do that? You know, do, do, do you wake up? And sometimes I do that. I wake up and I say, hey, Lord, um, I just give this day to you. I don't know what it's going to bring. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know how it's going to work, but I just give it to you. And so I think it's kind of a cool way to start the day, right? Just completely surrendering to the Father. Just saying, oh, okay, whatever happens today, it's going to be yours, right? Nice way to start the day, preparing the way for the day, right? And I was, uh, I was uh, putting together some devotions this week, and one of the things that I'd stumbled across was um, this idea of a gratitude journal. Not so much a journal, but a gratitude. Uh, basically, just what are three things that you're thankful for each day? And so maybe when you wake up in the morning, God, thank you that I have breath this morning. Thank you that I can wake up in uh, this comfortable bed. Thank you that I have a pillow. Thank you that I have a roof over my head. Like, it's a really nice way to start the day and just be like, okay... I'm going to start the day with some gratitude and then um, and then set the day up so that Jesus can be the one that is involved in the day, right? In my work day. I'm just talking about just setting up your work day and letting your morning uh, be dedicated to the Father, right? It's an interesting way to kind of start the day, start chatting about it. Uh, introducing 
the father to um, introducing the father into your day introducing the father into the uh, the cycle of your day you know you understand what I'm saying am I kind of making sense here I think I am but God wants to be involved in our days, right? So dedicate, you know, God, thank you for my job this morning, right? Thank you that I can wake up and go to a place to work. Or thank you for my uh, family this morning, right? Thank you for my friends. Maybe you're prepping for uh, a lunch with a friend. So thank you that I have a friend to have lunch with today. You know, there's little stuff so we can start our days with gratitude. Uh, But that's also a way to prepare the way for the Lord and prepare the way for our day and to kind of prepare um, the way for our day and to have him involved in it. And so that phrase this morning just kind of struck me. And I was like, do I prepare, do I prepare myself and my day for the Father? So maybe that's the challenging question today. So I encourage you, as you wake up, start your day, get things going, how are you preparing your way for the Lord today? Challenging question question that needs a little bit of an answer question that needs a little bit of addressing right so today how are you doing that how does that work in your life what happens over the course of your morning to prepare the way for the lord good stuff i'm gonna go um keep going on this walk and uh, keep absorbing (laughs) a lot of this beautiful beautiful uh scenery that the, that God has just blessed me with this morning and I encourage you to get outside do a little walk today spend some time with Jesus in nature uh, move a little bit and just let him be a part of your day that way too all right prepare the way for the Lord today love it love it okay uh, if you want to join us head over to joindaysband.com get involved in our community there and um, Yeah, we'll pray for you. We'll get some devotions going into your inbox every morning. We'll hook you up with some Bible studies. And uh, we'll just all be drawn closer to Jesus together in our community. Okay? All right, guys. Enjoy the day. Prepare the way for the Lord today in your life. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.